Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Now, today we're going to be doing something which a lot of people have requested recently in many other videos. And it's just an updated look at certain tactics that we haven't covered for a little while. So today, we're going to be covering what is my current formation that I'm going to be using. And a lot of the time, my formation changes. And the reason why it changes is because it changes based on personnel. So recently we was using the 4-4-1-1 a lot, but if you look at the personnel that we now have in our team, we've got Team of the Season Kane, we've got Aguero, we've got Cruyff, we've got Dalglish, we've essentially got four strikers. So now me playing this 4-4-1-1, it doesn't really make sense playing, you know, strikers at left mid and stuff like that. So you have to change formation based on the players you have. If you don't, you're going to notice a big change. So now the 4 triple 2 So this is the way I have my 4 triple 2 set up. Obviously now we've got Gundogan and that Pim Balak. We've got them as DMs. We've got Dalglish and Kane up front and then Cruyff and Aguero as the left and right cams. So my formation changes based on my personnel. And you can see right now the 4 triple 2 suits me really, really well. So a lot of people wanted me to do like an updated look at the 4 triple 2 And also with the tactics, they change very dramatically uh, from week to week because you find things that work one week and maybe next week they don't work so much. So changing your tactics is kind of just part of the game and you've got to move with the times and move with your team. And as your team changes, your tactics have to and your play style and all that have to change as well. But with all that put to one side, the tactics that I'm currently using at the moment look like this. Now, defensive style is something I have flickered with a little bit. One thing I find at the moment... A lot of people seem to be playing quite passively uh, and what I mean by passively is they're just kind of playing very slow uh, and have lots of time on the ball. If you're not playing on a press, for example, you can find that a lot of people can just take a long time on the ball and just pass around you and it'd be really, really boring. So I have kind of flirted with playing on a press, uh, but it just doesn't seem to work for me. It doesn't seem to work for my play style. So I just like to stick with balance. If a guy wants to take forever on the ball, as long as he's not been an arse and just holding it in his corner, no big deal. I'm not going to pull my defenders out just to kind of like phase him and, and help him. In terms of defensive width, we're still on five as normal. The depth, we are up to seven. I'm just kind of like flirting around with my depth. I'm, I'm, I used to be playing up at sort of nine near ten. I think now one of the problems I conceded this week, a uh, fair few goals uh, from people because they have like nine everybody has 99 pace you know strikers now and attackers and if you don't have super quick defenders you don't have fullbacks at center back you can't really play on a high depth now i don't play fullbacks at center back therefore i can't play on a high depth i need to play a little bit lower so i'm playing on seven at the moment offensive style we're playing with fast build up that's kind of my go-to with this formation it's really the only way i think you can play with the four triple two i think because in certain parts there is you know some gaps i think between the dms and the strikers, there's quite a bit, quite a large gap. So you've got to play fast build. You can't really play any other way. Offensive width, we're on around about seven as well to match the depth. I just want, I just want those wide cams to be a little bit wider, utilize their pace. I've put my quickest players um, out on the left and right cam because they're kind of going to be more sort of inside forwards rather than you know strikers or cams or anything. But they are on free roam, so they are going to move around a lot, which is really, really important. And then you know players in the box, corners, and free kicks is the standard stuff there. In terms of the instructions, Edison, the goalkeeper, comes for crossing the sweeper keeper. Pretty much the standard stuff for me there. In terms of the two centre-backs, of course, they're both on stay-back while attacking. And we're going to have them on conservative interceptions because, again, people who, uh, who a lot of people have 99 pace strikers now. So you don't want to, your centre-backs lunging and jumping into tackles and potentially missing because you're just then not going to, you're going to be out of position. You're not going to be able to catch a 99 pace Rashford or whoever it may be. Lots of players that got 99 pace now. In terms of the fullbacks, though, I've decided to move my fullbacks up to balance. Now, I was playing stay back while attacking. It gives me a lot of, you know, uh, rigidness in defense. However, I was finding a lot of the time I was getting the ball up to sort of like, let's say, Aguero on the left. And I'm just so used to having my fullbacks on balance or get forwards or whatever it may be that I, I found myself playing quite negative. I was always, I was always having to play backwards. So I, I want my fullbacks going forward. It just seems to work a bit better for me. Do I concede a few more goals? Absolutely. I'm not going to get around that. I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it. I, I definitely conceded some more goals, but my game is all about I'm going to outscore my opponent. If my if my opponent scores five, I'm going to score seven. That's the way I play FIFA. So if my opponent's going to get goals, uh, so be it. I just feel like I'm going to be able to outscore most of the people I play, and I just feel like I needed that extra width because I felt I was getting up to the top a lot and having to play backwards. Whereas if I had a fullback overlapping, it would just give my attackers a bit more free roam 
hence why the cams are on free roam to kind of potentially score more goals and it just felt it worked a lot better for me now with the fullbacks being on balance you need to have the dms on stay back while attacking that is really really important you can't afford to have the fullback go forward and i was playing with the opposite i was playing with these guys on balance and the fullbacks on stay back while attacking now this definitely gave me a little bit more thrust through the middle but i found that i was just a little bit i didn't have any width i found that you know with the cams on free roam the midfielders going forwards i just felt like everything was quite narrow and everything's quite tight so i decided to switch it around i'm going to have the fullbacks on balance and then the dms are going to be on stay back while attacking so we're still going to have four players back and the fact we've got players like wan bissaka who's got plenty of pace is going to be able to cover on that left hand side so if you are someone who plays two fullbacks at center back you can definitely play this way and as we mentioned before aguero and cruyff the left and right camp both are on free roam because again they're going to be drifting which is good because if cruyff and aguero both drift inside now i'm going to have shaw and trent alexander arnold still giving me plenty of width so i'm going to have the option to play in the middle and i'm going to have the option to go out wide and not necessarily because i'm going to cross the ball yes i've got players like harry kane in that who can win headers and stuff but ideally i want that just that width just so it's a little bit harder i was finding the way i had my team set up a little bit because i don't have necessarily the fastest players players like kane aren't necessarily the quickest and cruyff you know i don't use a, a pace chem style on cruyff i have a dead eye on him so i didn't really have the pace to kind of blitz people i found that some people found it really easy to stop my attack so i needed a little bit of a change so i decided to put the fullbacks going forwards have that bit more width so now i have the option to go inside and outside Harry Kane is my uh, first striker. He's on stay central. He's on false nine. So he kind of just drops in behind Dalglish just because I just wanted somebody to link up for, sort of from Cruyff and Aguero, two DMs, just so I could have somebody who could link the play up a lot better, which is quite interesting because I found this with Cruyff when I had Cruyff in this position. I had Cruyff in the cam spot or, or, or in the striker spot in the false nine. And this player seems to score more goals than the other player. Now, Harry Kane, for me, I've played 16 games with him now. He's got 29 goals compared to Dalglish, who's played the same 16 games, and he's got 20 goals. So my, my guy that plays false nine seems to get into more goal-scoring opportunities. And I think that's because the striker is often marked by the centre-back. And because Kane isn't, he's in more space. He's the one that's then more free to be able to take the chances. So I find that if you want your best finisher and your best passer wants to be the false nine because he's going to score more goals. And then Dalglish, just so we have a bit of pace to stretch the team, obviously Dalglish. My Dalglish has got 99 pace and they've got a hawk on him. He's going to stay central and he's on getting behind just so we have somebody who can come deep. We have width in the team with Shaw and Trent Alexander-Arnold and someone who can stretch the team play balls in behind two we've got Dalglish so we've got all our bases covered and I think it's really important with formations that you have all your bases covered with your play style your players your tactics and your instructions but that is it for today's video guys so if you did enjoy do drop a thumbs up do let me know down in the comment section how these tactics work for you I know you guys love our tactics and they work super super well for you which is absolutely amazing always love reading your positive feedback on how things go if you do want to join our Discord, that is down below as well. Make sure you join if you want to have a great place to talk about Thief during Team of the Season. We've got an amazing Discord, so make sure you do join that. Subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But that is all today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.